Alright guys, only me. Part do. Don't know if I said that right, but French was never my strong point in school. This is part two of the video. Same day, just continuation from the last video. We are just really tighten you up a bit. <laughs> Creeping up on the coast. really go these back roads that often. I'd normally just go on the coast road but this is one of those roads that's gonna intercept you know the coast road so I think we're heading down to it so you know I, I mean I'm, like I said I know it's just hedges but you do have some nice views some people are not gonna like the hedges some people are um, yeah, I think I know where we are. A load of cows in there. Hello, Mr. Cow. Hello. Aw. Doobly cows. Yeah, I know where we are. I know where we are. Is it me or is the grass in that field unnaturally green? Yeah, I remember taking my uh, Beamer along here when it was snowing. It was about 8 o'clock in winter. Snow had just started falling suddenly. Uh, yeah, rear-wheel drive Beamer in the snow. <laughs> Not much fun. Complete whiteout. I couldn't... You know, I had the lights on, but it was just a wall of snow coming down in front of me for about, well, I don't know, for about 10 feet in front of me. Hardly any vision. But yeah guys, I hope you liked the last video. If you've come over... Oh, they're not hanging around, are they? If you've come over onto this video, thank you very much. Every view, even if it's not subscribed, is very much appreciated. And if you subscribe, it kind of lets me know that I'm doing something right. More of us just think that's the right way. That's what I mean. These back in the day, these weren't really roads. They were lanes for horses and carts. If we can turn off at Morva, which is just under a mile from here. We can then make a yeah. We can make a right turn. See the silly arse from here. Mm, no, it's a bit hazy out there. Nice view though. Some goats in there, look. I think they're goats. They don't like goats. Unless they change them overnight. Nope, goats don't look like that anymore. <laughs> Sorry. What a weird sense of humor. I uh, yes, I know where we are. Yeah, I know exactly where we are. We're on the bit where we normally meet the double-decker buses. We'll take a left and we'll meet some double-decker buses. I 
I'm going to go this way. See you later, buddy. It's a bit of a blind corner, isn't it? Yep. Yes, I knew I'd make that. I knew I'd make that. <laughs> Good thing this got a turning circle of a cab. Hey, the big truck! Right, now, am I going to have to reverse all the way back? Or... When two people that work together know what they're doing, things can be accomplished. I really did have to fold my mirrors in for that though, God. Well, it would have been worse if it was a bus, but... But yeah, I thinking of this second view. I don't know how much memory I've got left. I'm sure I've got enough. Around 3 gigs, I think. Which is good for around half hour, 40 minutes. It's not good to come around on my side of the road, mate, on a corner. Again, standard of driving is severely lacking sometimes down here. Uh, but, yeah. If, if the video just cuts out near the end of this journey. Apologies, very unprofessional of me, uh, but, <laughs> you know, I make no, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not a professional. I'm just still kind of starting out in this, even though I've been doing it now for what, like a year, eight months? But, uh, I think we'll be okay. Famous last words. I just thought, you know, we've been, been through Penzance, we've done that, let's... Oh, there's a bus, there's a bus. And it's a touristy bus because it's got no roof. Well, half a roof. He's obviously met something coming the other way because he's just kind of stopped. Is there a little now normally the thing here here is is if a bus just stops like that, it's because there's another similar sized bus coming the other way. And are we on our way? I'm just going to wait here to see if it's a bus. If there is, I've got a little layboy down here I can go in. I think we're I think we're clear now. It's probably just some holiday makers that aren't used to the roads. Another layby down here. We can. We well, couldn't get any more unlocal than that. Netherlands. So, coming along here, you know, and then seeing that coming towards you, <laughs> you know, unexpected to say the least. We shouldn't be stuck behind this bus for too long, because um, at some point he will stop. And there are some people, very rarely, but there are a few that see this as their own personal racetrack. Which I personally think they should have their license taken off them and ripped up. 
because they're the ones that cause the accidents. And we've stopped again. Why have we stopped again? There's not horses. I don't know where the horses are. We used to get them on the road every summer. It was fun watching the tourists try to get past them. Hello, tourists! <laughs> See them up there. Withian to St Ives. Well, you're on the wrong road, mate. You're going to St Ives, but it's not from Gwythian. He should pull over in Zena because there's a bus stop there, so... You know, once you've learned the journey and got comfortable with the width of your vehicle, it must be nice being a bus driver and coming along here. Beautiful scenery every day, you know, your office is going through this every day. You know, of course, you probably don't do this route every day, you're on a different bus, probably, but... You know, as a bus driver, you probably look forward to coming out this way and not being stuck in town. Back off a little bit. Just want to go over this a little bit quicker than he did. Ugh, that was a bit, a bit too slow, but there you go. So I know on my title card, YouTube algorithm will choose the back end of a bus for my title card, so I'll probably have to change that. So what, what do you think? What do you think? A bus? Normally the algorithm chooses something like the back end of this bus, a hedge, or a stone wall. So normally I have to go in and change. I used to leave it, but now I, I change it. Now what with that? It's a vein. Yeah, you're going to have to back up, Mr. Van. Surprising how many people don't know to, how to reverse their cars. It is silly though, isn't it? Why have something as big as that bus when you could have something so much smaller? I don't know what this person in the black car is doing because they have all the room in the world. I mean, it's not the bus driver's fault, he has to drive what he's given, but, uh... The, uh, person in this black car... I just gave him the wave on. And he gave me that, like, professional wobbly truck driver wave. Hello! But yeah, it's... I think some people need to go back to retake their tests, because... the person, I won't say man or woman, person in that black car was completely clueless. They tried... Did I just have my picture taken? <laughs> You know, they, they were completely out of the depth. They tried reversing it. They, I don't know if you saw, but they were reversing it back out into the road in front of the bus. She, well, they had about, pretty said that, they had about, um, I don't know, about three feet on the other side of the car, and eventually they got it sorted out. The bus might pull over here by the Gurners Head Hotel. Gonna 
pull over? No. No. Okay, right. Senan. Not Senan, that's the other way, Craig. It's only a land's end. Oh, you are a geriatric. Zenor. You can see what the mistake is made. They sound the same, kind of. Senan, Zenor. Zenor, Zenon. You know what I mean? Not me. Splishy, splashy. say these uh, diesel fumes aren't uh, probably doing me very much good. I'm going to back off a little bit. That's the thing. Like I was saying a while ago. Well actually it was one of my recent videos about the tourists. The British tourists. You know and it's a small percentage of, of them out abroad not behaving, fighting, getting drunk and all that. That's only a small percentage. And then you've got the locals on the beach protesting and... You know, we I've come out for a drive today. And now I'm stuck behind a bus full of tourists. Breathing in diesel fumes. But I understand this has to be a thing every summer. Otherwise, my county is going to die on its feet because this is our major income from tourism. Uh, so this is a thing, and this is the way it has to be for Cornwall. You know, if you live in a beautiful place, expect loads of people to come and see it, especially if it gets lots of sun. You know, when COVID was. Uh, not in the middle of COVID when we were all locked down, but when we were allowed to get out, but not really leave the island. Everybody was everybody was down here. I mean, I remember it out on the roads. It went from being empty on the roads, you know, like a ghost town, to not being able to move. But uh, yeah, this, you know, it's okay. Go to St Ives, guys. Spend lots of money. My voice went funny then. Money! going to be a title card shot. I'm trying to remember how far Zener is. Just quick phone check, sorry. that a little bit just to there you go I was on the wrong setting there you go plenty of cool there now I'm surprised my phone didn't shut down Oi, there we go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up Now we could be here a while guys and if we are apologies no I think they've got it sorted out this is exactly what I mean look at this the poor guy on the bike now has got to dismount and walk past isn't this comical I mean the tourists must be thinking what on earth That's probably why they put that big lay-by up there in, the one where the greeny blue buses is in. You 
It is, it's... The thought behind that is ridiculous. Inches, there was an inch apart there. It is, it's just ridiculous planning, and it's just not. You should have two smaller buses, or just not two, just smaller buses do the route. You know, I mean, who is at the bus company? I don't know what they're called, but uh, who's some kind of chimp? You know, <laughs> you know, <sighs> boggles the mind. It really does. You know, imagine a smaller bus, like a. I don't know if you remember the hopper buses, guys. Get one of them, chop the roof off. Yeah, you just sit there, sweetheart. It's all right. We'll we'll go around you. Chop the roof off. Much more pleasurable experience for everyone. If another one comes the other way, it's not so bad. It's not much wider than a car. Sorry, I'm ranting now, I'll oh, shut up, but you, you saw on camera there how ridiculous that was. So if this goes over the 40 minutes, and splits it in two, because we've been pretty slow along here, I'll make it a part three or I'll do that. That's it, people come down here in their cars driving and they're not prepared for the roads. Look at that, and they're really pretty in there. Especially if you're American, guys. American or Canadian, with your big freeways, multi-lane highways. Check this out. <laughs> right, please pull over. Right, I didn't see anything coming, so I'm going to overtake you. And be released. They're opting to stay behind the bus, which isn't... You know, something I choose to do. But yeah, ooh, what a palaver that was. Now, we can be on our way again. coming in a little bit overcast now. Middle of the road. Don't know if you just saw that, but my God. I don't know if there are any serving police officers or ex-policemen that are watching, but You've probably seen it all, haven't you? So, excuse me, give my windscreen a little, little squirt there. Just gave him the benefit of the doubt, because some cars like to come around there on your side of the road, so just... See, they've got the polling things out. Andrew George, Liberal Democrats.
we'll do is when we crest the top of this hill probably end the video there. Check of the old, yeah, that's all right. Lovely, nice and cold. Yeah, these uh, lithium ion batteries, they certainly don't like the heat. But that bus back there that we overtook, the yellow, big yellow bus, he's probably now climbing the hill out of Zeno because he's, he's probably met that that big SUV, that monstrous SUV that we saw. Oh, I can't wait to get back up my bolognese. Got to make it first. Toad, toad. Toad, Toadnack. I don't know, I think that's how you say it. Toadnack. Toadnack. That's a bright red cup. Just saw a snip of a cyclist there, so. Eyes on stalks. Always catch up with these guys on a hill always bump into these guys on corners. It's not their fault, it's just circumstance. It's weird how it always works out how I catch up with them when they're on a corner. And there we go, we crest the hill. I might make that my title card view. The other side is Mounts Bay, that's Carpus Bay. So, there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed that little extra detour there, part two of the video. Um, sorry that most of it was stuck behind a big yellow bus, but there you go. It's YouTube, isn't it? Um, like comment, subscribe, and uh, as always guys, it's a wacky world. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you again. Cheers guys.